certainly you take a look at it, you say, okay, it's got something to do with Skype, doesn't it? And that would be a correct observation. Link's a fantastic product for communicating with folks who are inside your enterprise, in your directory, inside your security boundary. You can set Link up nicely so that it also connects with the PSTN phone system and you can make outbound calls and the like. But certainly as we got into the scenarios, one of the scenarios that is most interesting to think about completing is actually being able to go consumer to consumer, consumer to business, business to business, and give the enterprise appropriate kind of uh, control and security and auditing, at the same time letting people open up to all of their friends, their families, uh, their professional contacts, their suppliers, their vendors, et cetera. So the, you know, in some senses, you could say there were a lot of drivers behind the Skype acquisition, but certainly real-time conferencing, voice and video is not uh, a new area to us, but the opportunity to have uh, a really broader market impact to drive the, the future in these scenarios much harder. I think it's probably fair to say that over the next you know, five to 10 years, real-time video will explode as a percentage of all communications that go on. And as we, whether we're thinking about meetings or family reunions or school moments and meetings, you can go through a variety of different cases. Innovating around these scenarios is super valuable. We also think that it's a strong proposition if we can connect up Outlook users, Link users, Skype users, Xbox Live. Xbox Live is a perfect destination for this kind of, uh, if you will, voice communication with a peripheral like Connect present, Windows Live and the like. And certainly as we rolled out the rationale for the proposed Skype acquisition, we focused in on the opportunity to innovate and connect up these, these communities. I'm sure a number of you took a look at the uh, Skype filings before we, we went ahead and, and proposed and got agreement from the, from the Skype ownership group uh, on our acquisition. But it's, it's actually a very, very real business. Uh, 170 million users uh, active, growing 40% year over year. Uh, the monthly average, as people are logged in and using the service, about 150 minutes. Revenue in 2010, uh, was approaching $900 million and a, on a steep slope. And that's a combination of a little advertising revenue, a lot of revenue for terminating calls uh, to, to PSTN phones, and certainly a growing base of premium revenue for premium services, uh, which have been important. Since the time we announced the acquisition, in a sense, I think you could say their prospects have have turned even more uh, favorable uh, with the partnership that they announced independently with Facebook. Uh, we are hopeful we'll close out the regulatory process in Europe here over the course of the next uh, several months and uh, proceed with the, the full integration of Skype uh, as part of our consumer and uh, enterprise offers and then do even more to drive real-time video uh, and meetings is an important set of scenarios uh, in which we invest. Let me talk a little bit about Xbox. Uh, if I think back a few years, a lot of the discussion in our financial analyst meeting was all about Xbox and when Xbox would be profitable and how it would grow and blah, 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 blah. I'm glad we're through all that. Um, we're certainly in a very rapid growth phase for Xbox from both a revenue and a profitability perspective. Uh, last year was a, a boom year. Uh, you could say, in a sense, Xbox 360 has already been in market uh, longer than many consoles, and yet with the introduction of Kinect, it was almost like a midlife kicker, if you will. And we're going to continue that momentum uh, with a set of things that we'll do over the course of this holiday season. We've got a whole rich and deep catalog of uh, games for what we refer to as our core gamers. Halo is one such title, but you'll see quite a bit of stuff that'll have what I might call the Xbox traditionalist fired up for Christmas. We've got a catalog of family games, because really with Kinect, 
we started the process of pivoting and repositioning Xbox for uh, a much broader demographic. Uh, more women, more young children, the, the content, the games, the activity really draws in a whole different base of people in a new way. And the lineup of new Kinect experiences for this holiday is, is quite strong. One of the core things we need to do with Xbox, given that it is uh, perhaps today, I think it's probably fair to say, it's the number one uh, intelligent device connected to TVs around the world. It's quite obvious that we need to increase the amount of video and TV content that are available on the Xbox. And uh, we'll have some announcements over the course of the next several months, but really beefing up what you can do with an Xbox and Kinect in terms of TV and video of all forms is very important to us. Really pushing forward on a number of different dimensions. You'll see us take the Kinect platform to the next level in terms of the software that takes advantage of it. The avatar platform which we put in place, some people say our avatars goofy, I mean really do they have a place? And I'll tell you, if you have young children, or if you're trying to do a little exercise class in front of the Xbox first thing in the morning before you look good, your avatar is a much better representation than you are. And so I think there's a real place in a lot of real-time communications, frankly, for avatars. And last but not least, you're going to see us bring together some of the kinds of intelligence and intent that we talked, that she talked about in his dialogue with some of the things that we're trying to do with the Xbox as a TV platform. And I thought we'd show you a little bit of that, uh, a, a set of technologies around being an Xbox that'll be available uh, this holiday. So please help me welcome Lisa Nelson on stage and we'll do a little bit of a demonstration for you of some of the things that we're doing. We really take a user interface, particularly think about that TV family room setup it takes a user interface that makes the content and games and experiences that you want to get to very navigable. You need to make that invisible, natural, intuitive. And we're trying to give the TV a new voice, your own voice. And that's the core proposition here with this new Xbox experience. You can use your own voice to control your entertainment with the magic of Kinect. No buttons, nothing in your hands. Xbox music. Instant access to 11 million songs. Xbox games. All the games you love and even more of the experiences that you're looking for. Xbox video. Simple, effortless voice and motion control to navigate your entertainment. But that's only the beginning. Our goal this year is to dramatically increase the total amount of content, the total entertainment catalog available on the Xbox, particularly by working in partnership with a number of video suppliers. As a result, the content choices on Xbox will grow dramatically from hundreds of thousands to millions. Having all of that content is, is right on, it's fantastic. But it brings a new challenge with it. Discovery. How do you find things? How are you going to find the entertainment that you want? Uh, certainly we, we all know the frustrations of using guides and menus and controllers. And we think a better way to do all of this is simply to bring Bing and voice to Xbox. You say it. Xbox finds it. Xbox Bing. Bing on Xbox will search through Zune, through Netflix, through Hulu, through Xbox Live, and through the content that will literally come from dozens or hundreds of additional video content suppliers this Christmas. With Kinect and, X and Bing on Xbox, you can use your voice to find what you want instantly. Let's say your kids love listening to, I don't know, Kanye West, and they want to search for his latest music. Xbox, Bing, Kanye West.
And there's Kanye's music, right there, without navigating through any menus whatsoever. Let's say you're a fan of the TV show The Office, and you want to watch a missed episode. Xbox. Bing. The Office. And there they are, the office seasons, all in one place. If you want, you can further narrow your search. The office, season eight. The office, season eight. <laughs> Good thing that's shipping for Christmas. <laughs> Xbox gives you effortless discovery of all the content you're looking for. Why don't we try to go back and navigate again, Lisa? Xbox, go back. Xbox, go back. Darn it, Xbox, <laughs> go back. Uh, we may pass there. Let's just try one more thing. Let's look for X-Men content. Xbox. Bing, X-Men. And there's everything I might be interested in on X-Men. Not just the games, movies, animated series, all in one place, pulling together everything that Xbox and Bing know about. Not just the things that are down on my Xbox or out in cloud services, but even potentially local movie times and so much more. What we're trying to do this Christmas with Bing on Xbox is give you this kind of effortless discovery of something that's going to capture your imagination this evening without a ponderous, high overhead discovery process using the power of your voice and the intelligence of Bing. I want to talk to you a little bit also about live TV. Since live TV is probably the experience that's most central to all of us and is fairly central to the vision of the future of entertainment. This year, we're bringing live television to the Xbox with the kind, same kinds of technologies for navigation. We'll build on work we've already done with live TV partners in other parts of the world. Sky TV in the UK, Canal Plus in France, and Foxtel in Australia. You'll be able to watch live TV, video, on demand, on Xbox including news, sports, and your favorite channels. And we can integrate in both the navigation and the social platform of Xbox into that overall, overall experience. You say it, Xbox finds it. This holiday season, not only games and family entertainment, but music, movie, and more, all brought through the power of both Xbox, uh, Kinect, uh, and of course, Bing. Thanks very much, Lisa. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. I want to kind of wrap up there. Uh, certainly, you know, in, in the time I've had a chance to participate in the technology business, there's never been a time that's been quite as exciting as this one. Uh, the number of big technological shifts that are going on, hardware, natural interface, cloud. It's perhaps as momentous as, as anything I've ever seen. Uh, the competitive challenges and opportunities. I look at businesses where we have very high share and yet huge chance for growth. I look at businesses where we've made fundamental investments and the opportunity now to, to build share and to grow revenue and profit is super exciting. Uh, it's kind of the way Chi talked about it. Every one of these businesses is rotating and flipping and being reinvented every several years. And that keeps this business fun, interesting, and dynamic. It keeps it certainly for uh, you as investors. You need to be on your toes. I know you, know you need to understand where we're going, how fast we're moving. Do we really get the future trends? Are we betting on them? Where we're strong? Are we putting the pedal to the metal? Where, we're, uh, where we have competitors who are putting pressure on us? Are we taking the right next step? And in the businesses where we don't yet have a position, do we have a differentiated enough point of view to really break through? We've got a lot of things we're going to need to continue to work on, that's for sure. 
and yet I'm uh, very optimistic about our future, the things we get a chance to go do, and I'm certainly glad to have a chance to do this meeting after you've had a chance to see a little bit of what we're doing uh, in our core product line with, with Windows 8 and the future and the opportunities that brings us. Uh, we appreciate your time and we appreciate your coming. We'll have uh, a bunch of us up here for a Q&A session and we'll look forward to hearing what's on your mind. Thanks everybody very much.